Bring in Melissa Armo, founder and owner of The Stock Swoosh. Melissa, good morning to you. Markets poised to extend November's rally this morning. Uh, what was really the catalyst for such a positive month on Wall Street? Was it all of the vaccine news? And if so, do you think it'll continue through December? Well, we did have new highs in the market when they came out that two vaccines were showing about 90% effectiveness, which is actually really surprising. Most vaccines are around 60%. So that was good news. The reason we're making new highs this morning is because Moderna has another vaccine. So now we have three potential vaccines coming out. And remember, this is all possible because of Operation Warp Speed with the administration. They actually funded and gave to these pharmaceutical companies like Moderna. I think Moderna got $1 billion uh, in order to get this vaccine going several months ago. So this is extraordinary because when you think about it, this all began for the United States when we had the lockdowns in March. And now here we are, it's not even the end of the year. So hopefully this is good news for the world, good news for the United States, good news for the market. And I think you might actually see some extension today in this rally because once, when we had that rally back in November, it re yes, we rallied, but we really didn't see enough follow through in my eyes. What I wanna see today is the market open higher, hold, continue to rally and maybe even reach like 370 in the SPY. That would be great. We've got the we've got a nice rally going on in Apple this morning. We have a nice rally going on in the QQQs. The diamonds or the Dow is not making new highs, but it could today as well. I want to see some extension in some of these things. The, the, we're just seeing, though, in terms of before the vaccine will be deployed, the, the death toll is just going to be really astronomical. The, the pain and suffering, the hospitals are already overwhelmed. I'm taking like the emotion out of it, and I don't want to be insensitive, but does that not matter for Wall Street at all? Because it feels like there's just, we know that we, I, I've interviewed experts months ago where they said, well, as long as the death rate stays low or as long as something stays open. But we know, I mean, it, it looks like the worst is going to happen with this virus before the before the vaccines come. So just does that just that does that doesn't matter for Wall Street? Well, it's hard, it's hard to believe that a lot of things don't matter for Wall Street, because really, when you look at it, the last we have the unemployment numbers coming out again, the claims come out every Thursday. When you saw those claims increase week over week over week and the market kept rallying. So to try to make sense of why, uh, you know, fundamentally, some of these things occur in the market is really not what I do. I really just read the price action that's happening. And when you read it, you say, gosh, darn it, you know, we're making new highs today. You can't ignore it. At the end of the day, when you look at what's happening in the financial sector, if you try to invest your money, say you're, you're, you want to invest your money, say you're a, a, a short-term investor, say you're a long-term investor, say you're a wealthy person, you can't put your money in any type of banking facility right now and earn really any interest. We're, we're almost at the point where I'm concerned that we may actually go to negative interest rates. In other words, banks are incentivizing people to deposit lower balances, which is very unusual. In fact, I've never seen anything like it. So if you're someone that has a lot of money and you want to invest, where's the best place to put it? In the market, in strong stocks. I hate to say it, but that's the truth. And what you're saying about the death toll is, is critical. Uh, the unemployment numbers are critical. The continued lockdowns here in New York and other states like California, Pennsylvania, all of these things are very serious for businesses. And a lot of these businesses that we're trying to hang on will not continue to hang on into 2021 unless Congress does decide to pass another stimulus bill, which really I'm not very optimistic about at this point. And you say, well, why is the market rallying when we're not passing another stimulus? Airlines are on the fence. Some of these airlines are going to have more layoffs before the end of the year if the stimulus isn't passed. You have the entire travel industry is pretty much, uh, you know, on hold. Look at the cruise lines. So, again, trying to make sense out of what's happening with the market, you know, it, it doesn't always wash. But when you look at wealthy people who invest in the market, there's no place other than the stock market right now or stocks where people can invest their money and see any kind of return in investment. You mentioned the unemployment claims data. You know, we there's been concern recently that perhaps the numbers aren't totally legitimate and the situation is a lot worse than than the numbers would show. What do you make of that? Do you think that perhaps the unemployment uh, situation is is worse than those numbers would show? And, and we're going to get the big jobs number at the end of the week. What are your expectations for that? 
Whether the numbers are correct or not, I really honestly can't tell you. I'm not part of the administration, but I will say this. I don't I don't think the numbers are great. <laughs> I think 700,000 plus people filing for unemployment week over week is horrible. I'm glad it's not 1 million. I'm glad we finally got under the 800,000 number. But, but the problem is this is week over week over week over week over week. I mean, we can't continue having 500, 600, 700, 800,000 uh, people applying for unemployment week over week. And the reason that's happening the reason that's happening is because you have so many states, and again, the states are making the decisions about the closures. The states are making decisions about the lockdowns. Each individual state is making the decisions, not the federal government, about what businesses are allowed to be open and how much capacity. If you if you want to go to a restaurant in New York inside, and, it, and it's cold in New York right now, it's winter, it's 25% capacity. Well, many of those restaurants, they're not going to turn over a profit. Some of them haven't even reopened yet. You know, two major hotel chains in New York City, the Four Seasons and the Mandarin Oriental, they've been closed the entire year. They will not reopen until the earliest April 2021. Broadway is closed. Theaters are closed. All of these people that work in all of these industries, they are on unemployment. Oh, really quickly, what do you make of uh, Joe Biden's pick so far for his economic team? You know, I'm not really familiar with every single person he's picked, with the exception of, of uh uh, the Fed, the Fed chair, and I'm a little bit surprised that they picked someone that they've already had. Maybe the market saw some kind of release with that, uh, with Yellen. I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you, if you, if you want me to be completely honest, I don't think until uh, Biden is sworn in in the end of January will we really know for sure if he's taking office because President Trump is fighting some of these results. And I, w I wouldn't bet my life on Trump staying in office. And I wouldn't bet my life on Biden getting in office either. Look for some volatility if there is a serious push uh, in, in the market. Look for volatility in the market. If there's a serious push into the end of December, I'd say it's really going to probably happen by the end of 2020 uh, for this election to be overturned based on fraud results. Again, that's, that's not something... Uh, that I know the details about, but I know it's happening and I know what's going on. And I know that there's a possibility that you could see volatility if, in fact, it pushes through. If any of these cases get to the Supreme Court, nobody knows what's going to happen. Uh, great insight. Melissa Armo, founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. I also love the festive background that you have. It's putting me in a very good mood uh, on this first day of December. <laughs>